Hello everyone for another uh, 3.13 video, or 3.18 video I mean. Uh, we're pretty much, GGG just dropped the challenge uh, rewards, like what you get for each one, and also they did reveal what the challenges are for the league, which is the first time they've ever done this since I've been playing, which is very interesting, that's what I wanted to go over in this video. Very surprised to see this today. But they pretty much revealed every league, like what to do for all of them, for all 40 out of 40. And when they said they wanted to make this league a lot harder in challenges, they definitely did. So pretty much 6 through 24 is just like the set that they pretty much teased. Which I think is very interesting if you look at like the set and everything, the base 24 one. I think the most interesting one is this, is the... Um, the 20 through 38 with the fire going around you and everything, the helmet. I'm like, definitely going to be going for this. I think a lot of people are going to. Looks really good, the full set. And then the usual, the totems for the going for the 40. But quickly just want to go over all of what I think like the easiest ones are going to be compared to the hardest based on what we know so far. One thing I will say looking at these, I think that uh, sp speed mappers are going to be very popular this league. If we're going for challenges, and I also think um, bosses that can one-shot or builds that can one-shot bosses are also be popular due to the fact there's a lot of uh, defeat bosses conditionally this league. So I definitely think those builds are going to be very popular, like the um, the omni the omni science builds, lightning strike builds. I think might be popular stuff like those. So learn the ropes. This is like the one we get every league, you know. This is like one of the super easy ones, like learn the ropes, back to um, the basics, bend the recipes, defeat the axe boss one and two are super easy. So I think getting the six will pretty much by t will take you no time at all. You know, like purchase a gem from vendor, socket a jewel, equip up four or more um, link sockets, you know, super easy. You know, deploy sentinel. Defeat a rare monster, rogue exile might just take you a little bit of time, but easy to do. And it's make sure you do this one while you're going through the campaign. Just do the first act boss while it's sentinel, which is pretty easy overall. Bend the recipe, it's at least it's only four this league. Could be a lot worse, but overall pretty easy to do. Uh, you know, act one through five. Uh, encounters, you know, battle site area is easy. Choosing ascendancies, labs. Encounter a beast three blood altar, or complete. I mean, a complete encounter at a blood beast altar. This is um Einhardt's little area, super easy. You know, incursion is the um the temple boss. You know, like use sentinel, use each of these sentinels. I think this will be easy to do. I think you can buy them this league. I'm not hundred percent sure on that one if they're tradable, but. I think overall this one should be as one of the easier ones. It may take you a little bit of time to get some of them, but overall I'm pretty sure this is pretty easy to do. At bosses too, you know, defeat rare monsters, defeat rare monsters or magic with at least 18 of the following modifiers. Um, this is pretty much the new modifiers are adding to the league. They're taking out from the old ones. So I think overall this will be super easy to do. If this is all there is in the league, Headhunter only has 18 things to steal, which makes which is really will make Headhunter a lot worse. This is all you can steal from Headhunter, which we don't know though. But overall, super easy. Now we're getting to more interesting ones. Uh, complete each of the following breach. This is one's all for breach. There's a breach one. There's an essence one. Metamorph. They definitely did you know make one of these pretty much for each of the um, lead mechanics. Like to complete 100 breaches. It's this one's pretty easy to do if you just use the um, sextants. You know, defeat Chalula outside their domain. This one will just take you time running um, Chalula Breachstone or Chalula um, Breaches in your area. You know, defeat the uh, what's his face. This is the um, the new one that you can select that drops random ones. He's pretty common if you just take the passive. This one would be pretty easy to do. And a Fallis Breachstone. This one just depends. A lot of people are going to pay for it, but it can be done. You just need a very, very good build. This one is going to be really annoying, to be honest. I think this will be one of the more annoying ones to do in this league. Defeat each of the following possessed rogue exiles. These are not the easiest to find, to be honest. You'll kill a lot of them randomly. 
and you might have to do the um i think one of the uh, Kirik, um atlas thing is the temple one so a lot of people are, are the rogue exiles overall this one is doable it's just going to take a good amount of time to get done um essence one like the uh, the last one you know crack 150 essence is real easy the fact that you can pretty much put four essence guaranteed on a map makes it real easy to do Defeat an essence at least eight, five modifiers, easy. Uh, eight modifiers is doable once you take all the passive points. Defeat an essence with at least two of the following. These are the um, the level four ones. You make these by throwing the uh, the red corrupted one on a uh, purple one, or um, an essence that has purple mod one of the purple ones on it, and it can has a chance of going up to one of these. And there's also another thing. The way you're gonna get this one probably is um. There's also like the ones that can dupe stuff too. Like I think Essence this League is gonna be very a lot of people are gonna be taking it. So this one's like a super easy one to do. Assemble sentinels, uh, sentinels in the following way, just using a power core, you know. Assemble a sentinel that can't naturally be attained. I'm pretty sure once people figure these out how to do them, it's real easy to do. Like, you know, a unique one, a rare six modifiers. Like I think this will be overall pretty simple, basic. Uh this is the Oh okay, yeah. So this one deals with the Covenant Shrine buff. This is, if it's in the same part as the now in Skill Tree, I think it's on the top right by the um, one that gives you the extra sextant. But it's pretty much, you know, just find this Covenant Shrine, get it, and, you know, just go kill your map boss. The Breach boss in the wild is going to be really annoying, to be honest. Like a Shaper and Elder Guardian is going to be annoying. Most likely you probably do a Shaper one. You know, Delirium boss is going to be really rare. Metamorph. Like, you're going to have to pretty much take all the Shrine buffs and just hope you eventually get this one and get lucky with this one. I think this one's going to be really annoying to do. Uh, Metamorph one. Defeat a Metamorph, uh, which is compromised by five unique body parts. I wonder if you can... This one, if you can go into the lab and do this one, it would be the easy way to do it. Like, this one here. Defeat a Metamorph and Tain's lab. I don't think it counts, but... You're probably gonna have to do like a city square based map that has three bosses and they get twin on it to get six bosses. It's probably hot, the easiest way of getting this one done. With five uh, different rare modifiers, it's real easy to do. And a Fina Metamorph and a Rogue Metamorph within five seconds of another, that's gonna be really annoying to do. But there is an easy way of doing it. Just, you know, find your Rogue Metamorph, put a regular Metamorph up, make him super weak, kill, have a really strong build, kill both together. Like this one's not bad. I think everyone will be able to do this one pretty easily. Harvest one. This one's actually pretty funny. Uh, defeat a harvest boss. That's going to be pretty annoying. Most likely people are going to TFT this one. But just this one's about just getting lucky. They're pretty rare to find. You know, the heart of the grove is just doing the, uh, the one that gives you the, extra, the boss in there. That gives you that five extra. You can just buy it. Uh, this one's actually pretty funny. Sacrifice a stack of four div cards to receive at least eight back. That one I think will be really interesting to do. I think people are going to gamble for it. It should be pretty easy to do with the shitty um, divination cards. Just get a bunch of them, throw them in there, and you should be able to get it pretty easily. So I think this one's pretty doable. It's funny, though. And then harvest at least seven crops in single grove. This one I can definitely see being a little bit of a problem because getting seven is, not, is pretty rare because I think it's one, two, three, four... There is seven actual crops you can get, but most likely if you want to get this one, you're going to need to take a lot of passive points. Now we get Delirium. Uh, defeat a map boss while Delirious. This one's super easy. Just put one of the, um, just run a uh, Delirious map. You'll get it guaranteed. Easy to do. Obtain at least 200 Sim Splinters. This one's actually just run a um, super juiced uh, map with Delirium with a mirror in it. Especially the fact that we get mirrors now on the uh, map device. This one's actually pretty funny. Complete a 100% uh, T16 map with at least four modifiers. So like a rare one with 100%. It's going to take time to do it, but you can just rush the boss, to be honest. Do a map that you get the boss pretty easily and just rush it, you know. And then away 30 sim. This one, I think, the Delhi ones, I think, is going to be a little tricky for a lot of builds. Like a lot of people might just buy the way 31 and TFT for like 20 chaos, so should be pretty cheap. You know, map boss, I think everyone can do. Twin of Splinters will probably take people time. Most likely, Tropical Island is going to be your um, map to go to for that one. 
And like this one I think is doable too. Like I think Delirium is not the hardest one to do. Use the new um, recom Recombiners in each of the following way. This is the new ones that takes two items and makes a new item out of it. Oh, apparently this challenge will be changed. So I don't... Oh no, it's not about this one. Never mind. This one will be changed. So let's get that one for now. So combine a corrupted item with an item that has a... St um, pretty much with this one, just buy both pieces and just put them together. Super easy to do. Just costs a little bit of currency. So now we're getting to more interesting ones. This is like where all the Ubers are. So using rich altars in each of the following way. Activate 250 um, Searing Exart with the Wrath of the Cosmos active. And also the same thing, Eater World with the Eldritch, Gla um, Eldritch Glaze active. These are the nodes for each of them. To be honest, if you're mapping, just put these on. You'll get the 250 altars pretty quick. Uh, defeat a T16 map boss in a rare map. Hold that off. Oh, something's going crazy now. Uh, defeat a T16 map boss in a rare map after having allocated at least six Searing S, um, pretty much all six altars in area with, you know, same thing on top. So pretty much the easy way of saying this one is you'll get this most likely just by map playing the game. It's super easy to do. Both in deal with T16, which everyone's going to be running. Rare maps, which is not hard. And pretty much if you're just doing um, Searing XR, just have to hit at least six altars. And then kill boss. You know, this one, four altars, kill boss. Everyone, that's pretty much a no-brainer. This one, super easy. Complete all the invitations in the game, pretty much, while at least having five modifiers and are affected by heights of the hubris. I don't, I think this is the one that doubles. We can check real fast. I think they revealed it already. Uh, what are we looking for? Height of the hubris. Uh, I should have this one first, to be honest. Didn't they? I'm pretty sure it might have been in the um the patch notes. Yeah, that's Elwich Glaze. Oh no, this one, okay. 100% um, increase the effect of modifiers by your imitations. So pretty much you just need to complete um, the screaming, the poll, like, the, like pretty much, to be honest, every invitation. With, I think the most likely, this is going to be the most interesting one. Do the fear five modifiers with 100% increase the effect of the modifiers. So I think the fear is going to be by far the hardest one in all these. Like Form and Twisted are pretty easy. Forgotten's doable. Um, Hidden's doable. And Slaver's not bad. Oh, actually, no, I lied. I think Hidden's the shitty one. Is that the Breach one, I think? Like, I hate I hate doing Breach Lords. And, like, these are not bad. Like, I think by far this one's going to give a lot of people a big struggle. Mostly because of the fear. And if you want to buy us off a of TFT, I think it costs like two exalts, give or take. But definitely going to be going for it this league. I'm trying to make a build that can do that, but definitely one of the harder ones this league. Uh, pretty much, you know, defeat Uber Shaper, Uber Cortex. You know, this will be easy to do. Um, pretty much, this means just complete. Um, power up the Sentinels is the um, that little bar that goes across. Just power up all three Sentinel slots. You know, that'd be easy to connect them, quickly done. Reach level 30 knows. We have to see exactly how you get your points for this, but I think getting level 30 power knows should be real easy. So I'm going to say this one's probably an easy one to do. Uh, Pretty much, this is the one we get every league. Now they actually make you do all of them. But pretty much complete all unique maps. This will be very easy. The fact that they got rid of uh, Doriani's and Viking Square, which are the most expensive ones. But the rest of these, you can easily get through um, Kirik even. Especially, um, what you want to call it, Calvary's Trail does show up in Carrick's uh, white maps. That's how I got mine in my SSF uh, league. You know, defeat, so that'd be easy to do. Defeat Uber uh, Cyrus, um, Uber Uber Elder, and Uber Maven. You know, all easy ones. Defeat Empowering Encounters. Um, I don't know exactly what 
50 empowerment means exactly. We have to see how that's going to fully work, but I'm pretty sure this means, you know, use a sentinel on them, to be honest, like the higher ones, is my guess. But I don't want to, I'm not exactly sure yet until we see the leak. But if it is work where you just put the um, sentinel on the boss, it's like just feed a map boss, delirium boss, breach boss, and a metamorph. So I think this one would be real easy to do. It's just we got to see exactly how the 50 empowerment works. Uh, pretty much Eater World, Syrian XR, you know, Uber versions. This is interesting. So Atlas Grind is back. So this time now it's 2,200 maps to get the Atlas Grind done. You know, 1,000 XR, um, 1,000 Eaters, and 200 uh, Witness uh, Mavens. This one's going to be a good grind. People are going to have to... Most likely, I think people will get this done pretty doable-ish. Like, you know... Uh, the Maven one, if you're doing your invitations, people will get that done there. And like this, people will probably farm one or the other. And then just get it done and switch the other one. Run like City Square or, you know, Mud Geyser with Metamorph Scarab to find the boss real quick. Like, I think this one's doable. It's just going to be annoying to do. Uh, now this one's going to be really annoying. So these are the conditional ones are back, which I hated doing. Especially now that they put Shaper in. They put the big bosses in here, like Shaper, Maven, again, stuff like that. So, defeat Shaper. While Maven's Witness, that's easy. That's part of the fear. Without being affected by the Shaper Beam. So, just don't get hit by the Beam, which is going to be really annoying. Without detonating any of those little balls that chase you around, which is going to be really interesting. The fact that they uh, do hit you pretty easily. And also, defeat um, Shaper while you and um are both chilled so that's gonna be a real interesting one it's probably that new uh, ring that drops that makes you um, chilled but chilling shaper at the same time will be interesting i think this one would be doable it's gonna be you know i think people are gonna struggle with it i can say and uh, encounters two complete eight modded blight ravenger map this one i can see people buying this one it's gonna be really annoying in my opinion Definitely not looking forward to this one. I probably will buy this one off of TFT because I never fully completed a Ravager map unless there's an easy way of doing it. But I got to take a look into it more. Uh, defeat an exceptional unique boss in an area item level 81. Uh, exceptional unique boss. Expedition. Oh, wait. Exp I'm stupid. Expedition. I'm so dumb. Okay, defeat an expedition unique boss. This one's easy to do. Just run 81 contracts to get it, or just buy the guarantee one. Very easy to do. Uh, defeat at least 10 unique bosses in the um, time of domain with four emblems at least. Or no, unraveling emblems. This is the new emblems, the higher ones that no one ever runs because of trash. But defeat 10 bosses. This one, I think it's very doable. 10 is not too bad, to be honest. Is it going to be annoying? Oh, yeah. Is it going to be hard though? I think it's doable. And defeat Owl. Owl, you can, people are going to taxi the Owl pretty much. So the easiest way of doing this, to be honest, is people are going to do like on TFT, they're going to find Owl, but not run it. They're going to invite people to their, um, you know, have people message them like, you know, 10, 20 chaos, whatever it is. They'll put the, um, they'll make the path up to Owl for you. You just follow them and delve. especially you have a lot of darkness. And then you just go in the fight. They'll, uh, leave the party or the log out one of the two and then they'll just you kill it you get the completion for killing it now but then they also get to keep it so like other people can keep going over and over and doing it so i think owl's easy so like i think personally the hardest one is going to be the blighted one so this one i would say is probably a good struggle uh black star and infinite hunger these are the mini bosses you know defeat both of them with 80 item quant that's real easy to do Oh, they are doing okay. So, pretty much without... This is the one that spins in circles with the um, shoots the fire and the... Um, like the ice spikes that you always say was pretty much like that. So, without getting more than five stacks of crushing darkness. So, that one uh, can be done. So, this one's actually the interesting one. So, kill the boss with at least 30 stacks of either one without getting hit by the other one. So pretty much it means you need a boss that can pretty much kill it quickly, get 30 stacks, and just kill it. Which means you have to fight the boss twice automatically. 
which is really annoying to be honest. But doable, just extremely annoying. And then also without getting more than five stacks. So you are pretty much have to fight this boss three times no matter what, which is I think pretty stupid, but the good thing is these invitations are extremely cheap because no one wants to run it because of how trash it is. Uh, this is the uh, the fat one or people call Shrek. So without getting hit by vomit, very easy to do. Uh, while you have at least 50 stacks of Caressive Hunger, and then without getting more than 20 stacks of Caressive Hunger after you've been pulled under at least three times, which, yeah, it's another annoying ass one again. So pretty much it means, you know, same thing as the other one, you hit for three times. I think both of these are very doable. They're just going to be a very annoying to do. So Searing Exart, this is the red one. So while the area is at least 80 quant, that's easy to do. Uh, without being affected by the um, the flesh, I'm not sure which ability that is of his to be honest. So I'm pretty sure it's very easy to do. This one is actually really interesting. So after completing a um, the ball phase, when he throws the red meteors at you, so pretty much after completing a rolling uh, meteor phase without being hit by any of them from a set of meteors um, casted while he's at least 20% of life without using any uh, movement skills. So that one's going to be real interesting. In fact, you can use movement skills and it's going to be pretty much just a luck one to be honest. Like this one's going to be just luck. And then don't get hit by um, Annihilation. I'm not sure if it's that little on the Uber one, that thing that, that um, monster that follows you around or not. Or that's one of his abilities. I can't remember. I haven't done... I haven't really paid much attention when doing this fight. I just know the ball phase. I'm not sure which uh, ability is one of his. So Edo Worlds. Um, you know, same thing. 80 quant. Easy. After being... Uh, after beginning to drown at least 10 times. That one's doable. It's just going to be annoying to do. It's just whenever your screen gets darker and darker. Just do it 10 times. Uh, without being affected by more than 10 stacks of uh, inscrapable, inscrapable Doom. Just, you know, go to each area, kill them quickly, easy to do. And then uh, Unique Boss has 70% more AoE on area. That's real easy. Like by far, I would say Edo Worlds is much easier than the Seer Nexar Challenge. But both challenges, I would say people are going to get done pretty easily. Almost done. So Empowered Map Bosses. So pretty much eight modded T16 map um, you need to run, which is gonna be really annoying to make. And you also need to empower them with, the sentinel, with a, a unique Sentinel, which is gonna be real interesting to see the price of those. But, oh, never mind, I'm wrong. So they have to be empowered by certain Sentinels, each of them, which means if you get a unique Sentinel, I would take a look at its name and figure out which boss you need to get done and just get it done as you get the Sentinels. This one's gonna be really annoying to do. But as long as you look at which um, Sentinel you have, just set it up and just go for it. Um, Uber, Uber, or pretty much Uber Elder conditionally, which is really annoying to put this in. So I don't know all his abilities that well, but I have a feeling this one's gonna be really annoying to do. You know, defeat after defeating three Madness um, within five seconds, don't know which ability that is of his. I gotta take a look at all this. Without taking damage from Shaper's Beam is gonna be really annoying. Um, without detonating any of the little, um, the balls that follow you around. And then after detonating 20 of them. So no matter what, you have to do this fight twice. No matter what, because of this part right here. Which means it's gonna be expensive. But I think people can do this one. Just have a build can kill them really quick. That's all you gotta do. Uh, Maven. Don't get hit by Cascade of Pain is pretty doable. Um, after successfully completing the memory game five times, you pretty much will do the memory game three times no matter what. Just do two extra ones in the early stages before you get to the final stage. So I think this one's very easy to do. Uh, while affected by Maven's Punishment, I can't remember which ability that, of Ma that is of his. And don't get hit by the Gravity Wells, that little, um, it's pretty easy. Like, I think Maven's doable. It's just gonna, memory game one's gonna be annoying for a lot of people, but just do a couple, of the, like two or three in the first couple stages should be very doable. Now the big end game grind. So level 100 again, 
uh, using the buy in front in the end um, in the uh, end game labyrinth 250 times. This one I think people are gonna go for just because of the fact that we have um, the gift of the goddesses that let you get seven um, tries per time. It will save you a lot of time. The only problem is because there's a challenge related to get um, to Uber Lab or um, to Labs. It means gift of the goddess. I can see those going for one X pretty easily all league. So if you can get those early on, I would say go for it. Defeat 105 modded rare bosses in T16. I'm not sure, you know, difficulty level that one is. I'm not going to say. I don't know. It could be easy. could be hard. Hard to say. Uh, defeat 100 uber bosses. I think this one's pretty easy. It's going to be really boring. But I think this one's a very doable one. As long as you have the currency to buy it. Uh, solo death 600. This is going to be really annoying to do. Because... 600 takes a long time. I'm not going to lie. You start at 100 for free, but gain an extra 500. You're going to be spending a long time doing this one. And then defeat 200 T16 bosses, at least 50 empowerment. I think this one's doable. Once because there's another challenge and we related to 50 empowerment. So 50 empowerment might be easy to do. Just got to see for sure. But if I had to guess the easiest four, you know, maybe the empowerment one... I would say probably the, the lab one if you get to give the goddesses. Maybe the uber bosses. And then from there, I think it's really up to you. Level 100. Or may probably defeat the five, um, the 105 minor rares if it's doable. Because I think solo death 600 is going to be one of the harder ones. But there's a lot of easy ones in here. A lot of time consuming ones. A lot of annoying ones. Like, I definitely see people are probably going to struggle with the most is endgame grind. Because you can't buy it. Um, I think the conditionally ones are doable. People are going to buy this one, so it makes this challenge doable. You know, people are going to get annoyed with this one, I can see pretty quick. People are not going to want to do 2,000 maps. But I think it's doable though, but I still gonna think it's considered one of the more annoying ones. This one's gonna be really annoying to do, to be honest. Yeah, maybe actually. It just depends what is 50 empowerment. Is that easy to do, hard to do? Something you guys see though. But annoying, but it can be done. Uh, there was one other one. Like this one I think is gonna be annoying to do. Especially SSF people are definitely going to hate this one. Trade League, people are just going to go TFT for the fear. That's easy. Uh, this is doable. I think Covenant Shrine, this one's going to be really annoying to be honest. Like I think a lot of people are going to hate this one. Pretty much you have to pull out every map and just throw in, you know, Breach. Throw an Essence, throw a Metamorph, to literally even run a Sheeper map. Like, it's going to be really annoying going for a Covenant Shrine, but I think it can be done. It's just going to be extremely expensive. Essence doable. I think this one's going to be really annoying. The Rogue, the, uh, Rogue Exiles, I think this will be one of the more annoying ones to get. You know, like, Fallish Breach, you can buy. I think this is doable. And this one I'm hoping is not bad, but I think it's doable. Like, I think by far there's not too bad of um, challenges. It's just a lot of them are very time consuming. But I think overall, I think they're going to be very doable for people. It's just, you know, expect to take, you know, a lot of time. Get a mapper build, get a boss or build, and you should have no problem. Or just go TFT and buy it like most people will. But just want to do a quick video about the uh, challenges and they just released these and what I think about them. You know, I'm going to go for all 40 out of 40. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing about the endgame grind yet, but I'm definitely not worried about it, you know, at least until like maybe month, maybe month two, I would say. Two and a half. No, nah, I'd say about two. Sometime in, I would say towards maybe the end of June, towards like maybe July, it, maybe the beginning of July at the latest, I'll probably start like, focusing on this is my last if this is anything left to do with this one 
it just depends on how the league is and from how I feel about the league and stuff. But just want to do a quick rundown of these since they just released these out, which I'm really surprised in. And should be interesting. But put um, if put in the description below also what you think about the um, challenges this league. If you're going to go for them, if you're going to skip them. Like I know some people will skip them. Some people might go for them just for the um, 38 challenge set. Just for that glowing effect because it looks really good compared to the 24 set one. But if you like to see, subscribe on below. Come follow me on Twitch. We're probably going to stream on Thursday, I'm thinking. Just going over everything. You know, figuring out the POBs we're playing because I don't know what building yet I'm playing. Because now I'm between two builds now. And pretty much set, like, hopefully Filter Blades updated, which I don't know. And at that point, we should have everything ready to go. Go in the league, maybe do some of our test uh, play again. But we'll see. But hope you liked the video. Hope to see everyone on the next one. Thank you.